Hi, it's Melissa here, and here in New Zealand it's the 31st of December, so this will probably be the last video that I post for this year. So this is another layout for Brielle's baby book. It's a monthly album, and I haven't made any layouts for a really long time. If you look back, there will probably be a couple of videos that I've made for this album. So I'm using Webster's Pages Sweet Routine collection, and it's not a baby collection, but when I looked at it, it has lots of cute little sayings and elements that I thought went perfectly for a baby girl. And if you haven't seen any of the albums, the pages for this album, I've got some more on my blog as well. And what I do is, I've done it with all three of my children, I take a photo on the same day of the month they were born. So Riel was born on the 15th of April, so on the 15th of every month I've taken a photo of her or I've made a real effort to get really nice photos taken of her and I've taken them myself and then I have pretty much got 12 sets of photos and I make an album and so for this album I took photos of her on the same day she was born on a Tuesday so on every Tuesday of the month I took a photo of her and on my Instagram I would do I'd say how many weeks it was and then do a quick little description of what she was doing. So when it came to doing the journaling for this album it made it really easy because I just went back and found how many weeks I needed for each month and was able to just copy the descriptions of what she was doing as my journaling. So with this one I was originally just going to scrap the photo of her smiling but I just love that photo of her looking quite serious and intense. I just think it's really beautiful shows off her little face and so I changed my mind and decided to do kind of a messy grid and that's what this layout is. So I've just started with each of my photos and the collection kit comes with some file folders and some journaling cards and so behind the bigger photo I've cut down one of the file folders and using it as a layering piece and there on the square photo I've just cut that adorable off one of the cards that's a cut apart and I've just stapled it on and put a little dimensional pop dot behind it. The elephant paper clip also is from Webster's Pages and I can't remember the name of the baby collection but I did get a few bits and pieces from that collection to just add to this collection so that I did have some things that were quite themed to babies and it came with a little packet of white paper Paper clips, white onesie paper clips, and little mint elephant paper clips. And so I've used probably about four or five in the entire album. So here I'm just adhering my layers, and that blue is the other side of the file folder, and I just cut a piece off, and you can see the the rest of it on the right there. And the today is quite a beautiful day. Is one of the I think the four by four or three by three cut aparts and I think I cut them all apart and they're really sweet and I just love how girly they are and there I'm adding some sequin trim and that comes from Stampin' Up so one thing I have done is I've gone through my stash and added a few little bits and pieces as I make this album because otherwise I'm limited to just the chipboard and the paper I also got the 6x6 paper pad and you'll see that there. So it comes with two of every sheet and it's double sided. It's a really beautiful collection if you're thinking about it. I think it was from 2014. So I'm just using it to layer with and I haven't used much of it at all. So I've got most of the collection 12x12 12 12 sheets used up but I have a lot of this left over so I will make some more layouts with it. 6x6 six six paper. So here I'm just using it as layering pieces and just adding to the messy look of my grid. And there's a lot of florals, a lot of stripes, and I've just torn a piece off and I just like the way that looks. So now I'm adhering everything down, all my layers, and I don't show you all of that because it's pretty boring, especially with double sided tape. And I'm just showing you there how I have used that whole half of file folder. 
that doily is from Maggie Holmes collection. I got a pack of, I think, about 15 or 10 doilies from Spotlight when I was in Invercargill last weekend, and or the weekend before, and they were down to $5, so it was a real find, and I love the gold. I love this tone of gold. I had some other doilies from Studio Calico that were more intense, and I think I like these ones better. So here I'm just adding some more layers and I just needed a little bit of something on the right side there and I've ripped that paper as well and now I'm wanting to back my page on another piece of paper because I feel like it's a little bit plain so I'm going to be using that onesie paper and that's from the baby collection from Webster's Pages so I've just trimmed down my my white cardstock and now I'm gutting out that piece of it's kind of a green minty colour. It looks blue here, but it is more green than blue. And it's got blue little dots on it. So it really goes well, I think, with the mint of the elephant because it is from the same collection. And it also, I think it just complements the other colours that I've used. So because this cardstock, I am finding it plain. And because me and Simple don't always go that well together, I'm adding some gold and pink Holy Swap colour shine and just splattering until I'm happy and then I'm just making sure that I want my photos in the right position and then I'm adhering them down. Now I'm not going to show you all of that because once again it's a bit boring but when it came to this little square photo I thought that it needed a little bit, little bit more because everything else is so layered so I pulled just a really sweet and simple floral that's pink and um, kind of cream very subtle and so that's making the main layering piece behind my photo and then I'm adding just a bit of scrap so I'd punched a whole lot of circles I think the other side of that paper has circles and so I had kept all my scraps just in the bag with everything else and I found this piece and because it was already, I think it was already ripped, I can't remember, maybe I ripped it, I can't remember, but it worked perfectly to go behind this little photo, and so I'm just adhering things down before I decide where to put that layer, and it looks best at the top, so now I'm adhering that photo down. So it's been really nice actually to work on this album, because I've had a bit more time, like I said, um, and it's not a design team commitment, any of these ones, so I'm just happily scrapping away. And I think I've made about five pages in the last two days. I just found that I really wanted to get this album finished, and I was kind of going in the flow with it, and or going with the flow, I should say. And before I knew it, I had about five layouts done. So that trim is... It's, it's the sequence and they're kind of twisted on so it's great because it means they don't all fall off the thread so when you trim it you can just cut through them and then I just staple and then I just pull off the excess ones that I don't need and trim away the little piece of thread that's left so now I'm looking to embellish and like I said before I'm quite limited I've limited myself really to the chipboard and I want to use up as much as I can in these pages and it had these triangles and I like the way they look pointing towards that larger photo and because I've had this chipboard sitting around for a while some of it has lost its adhesive but I would recommend that you use some liquid adhesive on the back of it anyway because this is really quite heavy chipboard so it needs a bit more reinforcement when it comes to gluing it down so I'm just playing around and trying to work out what I want here on the bottom left corner of my photo. The collection kit, I think it came with these stickers or I may have purchased them separately. But it's been a while. Um, if you are in New Zealand, I purchased this from Artful Crafts and Liz may still have it in the store. So pop across and have a look. And I'm using a sticker that says that. And I did change my mind and thought about pulling it up but it was pretty well adhered and I'm just adding a little white it's got a grid kind of ledger pattern on it's a little flower and I use some older dear Lizzie 
stickers for or stickers for my title so that's my final layout and I've made another page for our album so I'll be back to share that again soon thank you so much for watching and happy new year